What is up, guys? Cap one here. I have been doing a bit of cooking. I've been doing a little bit of baking. I'm doing a little bit of theory crafting. Some, uh, I'm not even sure what I call it, but I have been keeping an eye on this new Skarner rework, and I believe this champion is proxy capable. Now, I still think that Singe is the only champion who can proxy at level one effectively, but with Skarner's uh, uh, access to wave clear on his Q, on his W, and his passive you actually are able to proxy quite effectively. So the strat right now for top lane that I've been seeing become a bit more, uh, a bit more played is you do a W start with Doran's ring and you actually max W, then Q, then E. For jungle, your max is to do... For jungle, your max is uh, Q, then W, then E. You can see the range of W is quite big, but you have to play around with it a bit. And it can get spaced out, but uh, the mana cost is quite favorable for Skarner. Watch out for Darius here. I'm pretty sure this is a bad matchup for me. Ooh. Smack him a little bit there. And once you have Bomby Cinder, you are very much able to proxy it up, which is quite good. Ooh, unlucky hit for me. That's okay. But the idea is you uh, you max W, you get CDR boots, and you get Bomby Cinder, and at that point you're able to proxy like a madman. I might actually just um, rush Bomby Cinder and then get Lucidity boots afterwards. We'll have to wait and see. So I think I'm going to actually try and snipe this cannon with my Q. You have quite a good farming range because your Q has a big range and your W has a big range. Your W has a slow initial shield attached to it. Uh, Skarner's E also dashes through at least two walls whenever you're looking for the proxy, which is quite good. I kind of missed time my last hit, but that's a little unfortunate. Ooh, I can actually... Oh, wait, no way, I killed him with Scorch. I was kind of worried I'd die there. Wait, oh. Oh, whatever. Got a splash. I have teleport, though, so it should be fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my double ruby crystals here. But yeah, the reason why you want uh, Bomby Cinder is for being able to farm faster, and you want Lucidity Boots to be able to spam your W more and get more range poke damage. I was really worried that I was gonna uh, <laughs> not even get a kill there, so. Oh, Darius says, What do you do, Skarner? He doesn't know. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna push this wave in. An ally has been slain. Give him some smacks. Okay, we'll lose a bit of CS here. And then you charge right through this wall. And you can begin a proxy. I don't even have Bomby Cinder yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm able to do this. So pop W. And you start autoing with your Q up. And your third Q hit will give a nice, big, large AoE proc. Your dot for your auto attacks and your Q uh, comes from your passive. And you can finish off last hits with the W as well if you need to. Ward up the jungle. And now I'm just back here. And I'm just farming. Uh, and if I need to escape, I can actually E through this wall right here, which is pretty awesome, so. Okay, I see Graves. Hey, they're coming for me, so. Oh, whoops. Hit him with W. I think I just keep running, we'll see. Ooh, but my shield's up. Oh my. Hey, I have W again. And I'm out. Oh my god. And we drew three people up there. And he lost a full creep play for it. <laughs> it's very similar to Singed. I love it. But yeah, you have a pretty good escape potential. You can get CC'd out of your E dash like that. But like, I mean, you're still pretty slippery and hard to kill, which I find it pretty fun. You can technically run this with... You can, you can technically run this with um, Phase Rush, but the reason why you go Comet and Scorch is for the laning phase. Because unlike Singed, you are not able to proxy level 1. I don't think any champion can like continuously proxy level 1 like more than one wave besides Singed. He, he, from what I understand, appears to be the only one that can do that. Because I think, you know, there's a couple other champions that can proxy level 1, like Scion and Mumu 
uh, Garen, but they can't really take more than one wave because Singe is the the longest DPS duration theoretically in the entire game with Poison Trail being limited only by your mana. So I am down a bit of CS, but I'll be fine. I think I'll be chilling. Start pushing here. My new new got all three grubs, which is good. And Bombie Sender, so let's go ahead and farm this. Oh, the wave clear is so good, too. Then now, I actually don't even need to use my E here, but I will go ahead and use it. Just charge straight through the wall. My proxy, I think I can actually double proxy as well if I wanted to, but my, my Cassio is kind of stomping her lane, so I don't want to bother her too much. More points in W. I don't know exactly where Darius is. Looks like he's chilling top lane. I want to hit the turret, but I kind of can't because I have Bomby Cinder, so I gotta be super careful. It looks like he actually just used his Q on minions, so I might hit it once. I believe I get the plate there for that. Nice, let's go. Okay, I'm going to W him as he walks close. Nice little smack. As you can see, you do use some mana, but not a whole ton. I see Graves over here. And maybe even just fight him. Depending on where he is. Oh, that oh no, that was my W aggroing the, the ground. That's my bad. Oh, that Graves is there. I'm stupid. He's so Darius is gonna look for me again here. I kinda wanna walk behind his um Oh no, he hit me! That's unfortunate. <laughs> All good. At least Katarina stole it. <laughs> so what I should have done is actually E down there. Uh, I e I accidentally E'd him into the wall. I'm still learning the champion, so my bad on that one. But I do have uh, Ionian boots now, which is quite good. Those are super good on Skarner. You want your W and E and Q cooldowns to be as low as possible. And I'm actually going to go either Sunfire or Iceborne Gauntlet. I'm leaning towards Sunfire first, but we'll see. Iceborne is super good on Skarner too because you get your... Um, you get your slow spam to keep people inside of your Q range. And then your if you your Q has a slow, and your W has a slow, and then you Iceborne slow, and you're just a bit of a, a CC monster. W cooldown is now 5.8 seconds. Q is 10.8, but you also have to auto a couple times for it. I think believe your Q cooldown actually starts whenever you um cast it, not the, not on the last hit, which is good. Smack, very nice. Okay, I see Graves over there. I maybe do want to be a bit careful. I think I can just walk over here though normally. Because he's on his blue, but do they know that I'm back here? Oh, he knows. Darius knows. The sins of mortals are paid with the oh, I time my Q on, unfortunately. You do, you do have to auto to maintain your Q. But... Cooldown's still pretty forgiving, so. I think Graves is over. Let's see if I can find him. Ah, oh, nah, rip. He killed it very quickly. No worries. Okay, Darius certainly looking for me here. I gotta, do have to be a bit careful. I hit him. <laughs> oh, I got incoming. I got incoming and I'm out. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm being so annoying. I love it. I'm gonna leave that plant for uh, Nunu. This area is potentially killable. I know he doesn't have a ward over here. Ooh, hit him with my ult. Very nice. Alright, got both sums. Not very bad. Or not very. Not bad at all. I meant to say. Can't talk, sorry. I believe Nunu can get uh, grubs, but up to him if he wants to do it. And I'll go ahead and walk behind turret here too. Actually, should I go mid? Ah, I'll be too late if I walk over there. I wonder if Darius is killable. We'll see. I want to say he is, but if I get hit by a Q, he's going to heal a ton, so... Oh, actually...
Oh my god, he's so mad right now. <laughs> Back through the wall to kill him. <laughs> I am such a demon for that play, oh my god. Now we just farm up some turret plates. I can actually proxy this wave as well. I'm already back here, might as well, right? So, Q, auto, W, auto, auto with the wave clear. Oh my god. He does have a very satisfying wave clear pattern, I will say. Starter win rate is actually quite low, but uh, they did hotfix buff. The E cooldown, so it's 20 at level 1 now. Base cooldown. Other plate for me, very nice. I actually do have teleport, so I can just get back here very quickly if I need to. Alright, so Darius back in lane. Let's recall. Looking pretty good. Yeah, the, the champion on paper does appear to be a bit underpowered, but I think he's very fun. Like, he's very satisfying. He's kind of simple, not too complicated. Nice. Gauntlet is what I want. Buy more armor. I'll get a uh, far side as well. Sorry, my cat's yelling right now. You might hear him in the background. Just using my W to check the bush, see if Darius is there. I feel like Infernal Sin or Rift is really good for me. <laughs> nice pull, Darius. Nice try. Smack. Oh, unlucky for you, bro. I'm just playing with his ranges right now. He's having some trouble with me. Oh, he's having some trouble. Oh, he's having some trouble for sure. I am poking the absolute hell out of this guy right now. Oh, I want to dive him, but I just don't have the damage to actually finish the kill. Because if I get hit by even one Q, he's going to heal so much, right? Oh my god, he's pissed. That guy is that guy's not happy right now. That was a pretty clean kill, actually. The amount of uh, crowd control that you can put on or put out on a single target is actually quite high. Between like your wall slams and your suppression, then you can Permaslaw, obviously, which has been very fun this game so far. I don't even have my Iceborne yet. This is pre-Iceborne. Also, your Q does work on turrets, um, but it only gives you 50% additional damage, not the uh, the full value of it. So, I actually got Tower First Blood. Oh my lord. Oh. Zack, time to leave. I don't know why there's supports here. Maybe Darius is not, uh, not having a happy game right now. Oh, he's warding me too. This guy. A chain vest, Sheen. Looking really good so far. You can also e-spam to get back to lane. What I don't like, so I have some criticisms about about the kit and the rework. Like I don't, many people agree that they don't like when you have to like use your Q button that you stop moving to rip the rock out of the ground. That feels very awkward. I also personally don't like the fact that whenever you cast your E button, you could be you could have like a thousand movement speed, but it will reduce you to 150 before you start charging up again. It's really odd. And I uh, hope they change that. Yeah, I feel like the the E should just start at the movement speed that you're already at. I feel like that would make him feel super smooth to play compared to what he feels like now. That's like the, the major thing is clunkiness, right? Um, and I wish that his R didn't have the giant cast time, but I understand that it needs to have some counterplay. He's such a powerful ability, right? Nunu did so much damage. CC lock. Ooh. So much damage. Oh, again. Oh, my God. All right, we lose the Herald, unfortunately. But, man, I you put out so much crowd control with Skarner. Oh, my Lord. 
Just wall slam, wall slam, wall slam. That is so satisfying. Holy hell. That is pretty wild. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I, I, I gotta admit. That is definitely very enjoyable. I could see myself playing a lot of this champion. I think that fight just unlocked something in me, in my brain. Oh, time to go. There are 80 carries here, so I will just go ahead and dash out. Looks like the grave is angry, is, uh, angry following me. Do I have E again. Also, also, if you hit a wall slam on a large monster or a champion with your E, the cooldown gets 65% uh, refunded as well. <laughs> yeah, Graves is stealing his farm. Are, are they just going to Herald top? I mean, I have Iceborne now. I'm going to be a bit of a monster. Oh, they are. I'm going to go Jack Show third, actually. I think it'll be good here. Also, that appears to be the highest win rate uh, setup, so... I'm absolutely unafraid of you, Darius. This is, it seems like a bad idea for him. Oh. Put him way far out. I mean, I just put out so much crowd control, right? How can you deal with me? I'm gonna keep pushing now. You can also cancel your E early if you want to. I wonder if they thought they're gonna get more value out of that. Oh, they surrendered. Okay, okay. I'll give you guys a part two. Of that this this game was was too good to not use, so I will have to bring you guys a part two. That was so much fun. It, it it's very rare that. I, I find a different champion besides Singe to play that can proxy, but I also actually like have fun playing. So I will I will give you guys a part two, but first let me show you the match history of this. So we got uh I had twelve point eight K damage. It was only a seventeen minute fifty second game, but I got uh hundred and forty two CS. So that's that's uh how much CS per minute? That is I think like seven? It's eight CS per minute. Yeah, that's eight CS per minute. Quite decent. I mean I I was doing very well, so <laughs> that's a lot of fun and the proxy is very satisfying, so I will give you guys a part two. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, here for part two. I guess suppose I should explain the abilities a bit better. So W Seismic Bastion is a shield that has a health scaling ratio. Uh, it is based on your max HP so nine percent or bonus i'm not in true sure actually nine percent health shield uh and it does a damage area effect and it's slow so I, oh i'm against Swiss the fate top okay cool um your q is a you grab smack him your q is a uh you stop moving and then you grab a boulder from the ground and then you have three auto attacks or you can throw it you can also throw it on your on after two uh two swings with it as well and the third hit does a uh, slow, but all three hits do 6% uh, bonus health damage and some AD scaling damage as well. So nice to be able to poke a range champion with, uh, with a champ uh, melee top laner like this. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Every time he walks up for his card, I'm going to hit him with a W. Actually, I'm winning the, the health trade slowly here, which is kind of good. Your E is a charge that goes through walls, controls similarly to Scion, uh, ult. I guess I can hit him here. Smack! And if you hit a champion with it, uh, you can suppress, you suppress them for the rest of the duration of the charge, and you throw them, if you, uh, pin them into a wall, you stun them, and the cooldown gets refunded if you pin a champion or a monster. Your ultimate is like a much shorter duration version of the old Skarner ultimate, except there is an area of effect attached to it now. Ooh, good poke for me there. And he's actually running through a lot of mana as well. I got one of his health potions there as well, which is good. Okay. I am not afraid of you, Diana. Oh. I actually poked her super hard when she came in to gank me there, which is nice. 
I have another mana flow stack here. Or a mana flow cooldown here. Yeah, unfortunately here versus Twisted Fate, I didn't. I, I wanted to go for the procs on that third wave, but I couldn't. But generally with Skarner and most other non sin champions, you do need a bomb center before you proxy. I think the exception is like Scion or Garen, where you can proxy without it, but they are reliant on getting a few levels at least first. But that is a thing to watch out for if you're looking to proxy with Skarner. You do need Bomby Sender for it, which is fine. I'll, I'll get in a bit. With this match, I might actually uh, max my W first. Or sorry, get my Lucidities here first. We'll see. We hit him with this. Ooh, not quite. That's okay. Only because Lucidity Boots would be so helpful for me in um, poking this Twisted Fate. But we'll see how it goes. Just time it so whenever he autos me with his cards, then with the W, the way I shield and damage him at the same time. Same thing. Zana bottom. Also, if I buy Lucidity Boots before my first back, I can actually get a reduced cooldown teleport, which is quite nice. Just go ahead and grab those and TP back to lane. He will TP as well, but that is fine. You can CS from a distance as well if you need to by throwing your Q. Your W also is a... This is ulting for damage basically right there. I didn't actually hit the wall pin unfortunately, that was my bad. I'm not practiced enough with this champion, but if I did, that could, that could have been a kill there. Which would have been sick. Ooh, I hit him there. This is a kill, actually, if I go in on this, I think. Ooh, okay, you flashed it. I am Oom, um, so I'll go ahead and back here. We're getting his flash, very good. Oh, they actually lane swap, which is kind of hilarious. I thought he just queued for TF top, but that's actually a straight up lane swap. Okay, go ahead and buy Ruby Crystal here. I need one more uh, hit on my W, or any ability, so I can uh, to get my Mana Flow Band maxed out, which would be nice. I'm gonna come help Vigor with this as well. Let's see, Comet 307 damage, Scorch 173. Not too bad, what rune does he have? Spellbook with Domination, so probably Domination to get his um, ultimate cooldown. I'm here to help, Vigar. I actually missed his W on the... on the thing. Oh, he wants to farm it for his Q. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Go ahead and get a Vigar. All you, bud. I wonder if killable in the Sist of Fate here. Oh, hello. Might get him here actually. Nah, quite hate to see it. I messed up a little bit there, no worries. For some reason, uh, I think I double tapped my E and canceled it early before I got the wall sent on him there. That's my bad. Like I said, I'm still learning this champion, guys, so my fault for messing it up. I think it is Barrier, though. His spell swapped Barrier. Not that it matters that much to get that, but... Okay, wave shoved in. Go ahead and back here. Not quite Bomby Cinder yet, but getting there. I'm also ahead of him on CS, which is quite good. Imagine a melee champion being ahead of a ranged champion in CS. The ones out of the bombies, I can start proxying pretty hard too. I should have probably rushed at this game, but I think I have to play the ranged situation a bit differently. I also got ganked at level 3, so. I had to teleport out and I wanted to get the reduced cooldown for my. or the summoner spell haste for my teleport. I, I, I assume that he has cosmic insight. Hi, my cat's here. Hi, bud. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. I promise. Give me one more game. Yeah, I know. He's saying slurs at me right now. 
Yeah. I know, bud. I can actually just hold this over here, I think. We'll see. I don't want to hold it forever, though, because Swiss to fake can ult and look for a gank. So I do have to be careful, but... I definitely have him in an awkward spot. He's not very comfortable walking up here at all. Is everybody coming back here? Okay, the wave's gonna bounce back here. He's so scared to walk up in a little bit. I love it. Put the fear in him. I can actually proxy here, I think. Oh, I know, bud. My cat's very hungry. I have to feed him after this game. I know, Mr. Man. I got you, bud. This is a pre bombies proxy, so I gotta be careful here. My wave player is not quite what it sh what it needs to be. Ah, never mind. I guess I just annihilate the entire wave. Very easily, actually. I can grab one more back here. Oh, bot lane gets a kill. Very nice. Just pull the wave out. Cluster them up. Okay, we see Dana bottom as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and recall here. I could TP actually right now to help him dive her, but I think they got her. Nice, good big girl. There's Bomby Cinder. It's an AP twisted. They have a lot of magic damage. I'm actually gonna go for uh You know what? Yeah, Hollow Radiant sounds pretty good here, actually. Let's do that. I wanted to go with Sunfire because Sunfire gives the damage amplification, but Hollow Radiance is probably my better option here. I actually killed a Garen here. That's rough. I mean, we could have TP'd there, but she was very fast, so. Could TP here as well, but I think he's just dead, so. Yeah, rip. Seems not worth it. I'll wait for the next wave to push this in, try and build a, build a wave to push with. There we go. Oh my lord, the poke. Walk past him, no worries. I can absolutely annihilate these these creep waves too, which is quite nice. So I can steal a camp here. I can actually do this quite effectively. Usually Singe has problems doing this. I'm kind of just chilling taking this. Oh yeah. Give me that delicious wave. I can actually catch most of this as well. I miss one, I'm not quite fast enough, but I do get the wave afterwards as well. Just gobble it up. Then I can actually E over this to the grubs and help Vigar kill him. I have TP for top lane backup as well if I needed to use that. I can also grab these uh these plants and heal up. We're actually six scrub now, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm assuming TF recall. I'm actually gonna grab this plant before I go to lane. Oh no, he's still chilling here, okay. To protect what is mine. My W is almost one shotting that back line of minions. That is pretty wild. Your team has destroyed the Dude, I'm actually poking the absolute hell out of this guy. You dare challenge me. Getting 
getting smacked. I'll go for one plate here. Dude, I smacked him again. God, that's so satisfying. The man's having problems dealing with me. Okay, I do have Hollow Radiance up. I might TP over here to this fight. See how it goes. Looks like they're chilling. Kind of nervous watching this because that Jinx is kind of big. Okay, I do want uh, Iceborne Gauntlet here. Okay, TPing in. Let's go. Oh my lord! Try to smack that Jinx as well. well. I don't know about that one. Do I go on this then? Nah, that seems bad. I t I ended. No, I didn't. Oh, she ended. <laughs> time to run. Time to run. Time to run. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go, boys. Oh, we got a GTFO here. I don't know if I like this. I'm just gonna recall. Oh my god, they killed her. Oh my god, she she misclicked. I think she was a moving and then clicked what she did. What she did was she um clicked the void grubs that spawned because she attack clicked and didn't like actually right click me. Lazy gameplay, getting punished. <laughs> Oh, okay, Yone's getting top turret, actually. This is really good. I find it very satisfying that you can you can poke out range top lanes with this champion. That's like... Man, you guys have no idea. That's like a dream for me, because it's a champion that can proxy, and also poke range top laners. It's like, oh my god. Okay, I can pressure this tower pretty hard as well, because I have my Zyra with me. We have six void, void lanes, and my Q does bonus damage to turrets. I think Garen's heading top here. Oh, Diana. Oh, Diana. Oh, wow, he just flashed. I don't know about that one, you know. I want to proxy this wave back here. Oh no, I tried to E him before he could ult me. That's my bad. I was being a little silly there. I was being a little greedy. <laughs> Man, what's the true damage from his... Okay, so 841 true damage. Jeez. That's my fault. I was being, I was being a little silly there. I got Sheen. Chain Vest as well. So I know that... Um, yeah, so Hollow Radiance actually doesn't amplify the way that Sunfire does. That's why I don't like building Hollow Radiance or as much as Sunfire on tank champions, but I think for the situation, AP top, AP jungle, it was probably fine to do it. Alright, if Vega's gonna go down there, I'm gonna try and help. Maybe we can deal with this Jinx. I have Ghost in 10 as well. But he's gotta get on her soon before she... It's her silly move quick thing. Love it. The Diana is on Dragon though. We should probably try and stop her. Looks like she backed off actually. I would like to get it if possible. My wave. I'm the laner. You go get your Dragon. It's a nice thing too about Skarner top lane, but what I'm finding is you can actually take camps pretty effectively. Because your abilities have so much like damage so many damage modifiers on them. Very nice. We can probably kill her again, yeah. This is gonna be a brutal kill. Oh, she's gonna be so tilted off of this. Did he just give it to me? He just gave it to me. What a homie. Very nice. We can get through to bottom here. Or we can fight. Or we can just fight. I'm, I'm feeling the fight. An ally has 
I messed up. Oh, there's a twist of fate back there, and he's dead. I should have grabbed my uh, Q before I used my E that I could have thrown it immediately on the zillion, probably sniped him, but that's okay, my bad. You get mid tier two, though. If I can kill the Garen. I want to say I go for it, but. If he's over here, I'm going to scream. He's not over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The bush? Nah, rip. I was hoping it was greedy farming. Alright, let's get out of here. I do have my Iceborne Gauntlet up. I want this wave, actually. I'm going to be greedy for it. It's not a Minish Cat video if you're not greeting for CS. Just what I do. My MO as a player. This is, I love this escape path, by the way, on the side lanes where you can just dash straight to that bush and then just recall. Also, this way, if I ever got on top of Twisted Fate, he's not getting away. Right, we'll, go, we'll go for a Jack Show now. So, Garen has a much harder time dealing with me as well. In fact, let's see if I can just TP over here. Hello, Zillion. Bye bye, Zillion. Nice try, though. I got back up. That was living for a long time, too, before my team even got there. Wait, we summoned so many objects, like, to hit that turret with between Zyra and having grubs and stuff. That's funny. On demand turret tanking. Alright, let's grab this. Very dope. Wait, I'm gonna try and hit the top turret as well. Might as well, we're already here. Oh, whoops. I actually killed him, oh my god. I don't have another double U for Jinx though. If I did, I maybe would be able to get a few autos on her. Can't believe I killed it just ah no! <laughs> run, Smolder, run! <laughs> run, my child. I kind of really want to uh, try out Spear of Shojin. I I heard some people saying Spear of Shojin is good on Skarner, but the only AD I I've played him a few times off camera, and the only AD item that I found that I really enjoyed personally was um, Stride Breaker. But I have not tried Shojin yet, so maybe it's worth it. I'm 166 farm to TS 122. It's hard out farming this guy. I wonder if it's worth it to stack um, Causing Insight with Lucidity Boots to get even lower teleport cooldowns. Because you can macro quite hard on this champion whenever you're in side lane because you can gank through walls. Also, he kind of has lobster claws on the base skin. I like the earth more, the earth rune skin the most. That skin looks amazing. It's actually a gorgeous skin. Oh, I got shell inside of my person out of my W or E. Oh, no way! They jumped out of it! <laughs> You're not getting away from me! Bang! Let's go! I will chase you through every wall, Diana. Nice blue buff share. I can keep pushing now as well. I actually don't know where um, Twisted Fate went. It appears like he survived. Kind of scared, but... Okay, he's in their base. We're chilling then. I'll just push, push, push. 
So much wave clear with Hollow Radiance and my Q and W. Nice try, can't be slowed. Actually, just gonna recall and TP back in, why not? I have Jack show up. I'm here. And I am a bit of a, oh, I got silenced. This is a bit of a menace, but. Where are you going? <laughs> they, uh, oh no, they didn't FF, they just lost. <laughs> The next was dying, very nice. Yeah, it's a very fun champion, actually. I quite I quite enjoyed that. And he's just he's just like so he's so relaxing to play. I, I'm not a big fan of how clunky the abilities feel, and I, I do hope that they fix that, but he, he is very relaxing to play. And and just the fact that you can poke range top laners and proxy at the same time, I mean it it seems like a pretty a pretty solid secondary champion for me to get into. Alright, let's check out my post game score. On this one, four, two, and seven. I had 176 six CS, which comes out to um, 7.2 CS per minute. Not bad. Not as high as the first game, but still pretty decent. Uh, and I did how much damage? I did 16.7k, which you know for a tank, it's quite good. So uh, we'll take it. That being said, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I mean, I mean to try and make this proxy scorner video for uh, a few days now, but I had some problems recording and a little busy IRL. So happy I finally got to get one out and. I'm hoping that they do make him feel a bit less clunky to play. Uh, I'm sad because he doesn't feel that similar to the OG Skarner because the OG Skarner had like very high APM as you leveled up and he felt very fast and very fluid and high tempo. And this Skarner is really not very high tempo, so I am a little saddened by that. Uh, the rework was a bit more um, of a rework than I thought it would be. But, I mean, he's still a cool champ, so when I enjoy him, uh, make the best of the situation, right? So, that makes sense, guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, everyone. Peace.